In just about six weeks, Iranians will vote in presidential election. But on the day of decision, they will be voting for more than a president. They will cast a ballot for and against a checklist of policies that will touch their lives and shape the country for the next four years. In a contest of actual ideas, some hopefuls have come up with a checklist of policies. The checklist of Mohsen Rezaei, an independent hopeful and secretary of the State Expediency Council, says support domestic producers, increase public income, eliminate unemployment and inflation, give farmers green money. The checklist of Hassan Rouhani, a reformist hopeful and former secretary of the Supreme National Security Council says, employ academics, form a young cabinet, give students freedom to assembly, don't stretch the red lines, boost production. The checklist of Mustafa Kavakebian, a reformist and former MP, says end sanctions, push for reforms, follow the rule of law, serve people, talk to Washington. In this respect, a number of university scholars had this to say to Press TV. Candidates should be committed to the Islamic Republic's principles. They should also focus on fixing the current economic situation. The next president should be able to meet the growing public demands, especially in this modern world. Just like reformists and independent hopefuls, principalists are also running on a platform of big promises and ideas. The checklist of former health minister and the Perseverance Front's top nominee, Kamran Bagheri Lankarani, says spread the word of Islam, ensure justice for all, don't give promises. The checklist of lawmaker Mohammad Reza Bahonar and a member of the Coalition of Five says give more cash subsidies, take more provincial trips, listen to parliament, revive planning and budget organization. The checklist of Ali Akbar Velayati, a top advisor to Iran's leader Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei and a member of the Coalition of Three says don't waste public money, implement parliament ratifications, complete national development plans, fix economy in three years, make foreign policy reforms. Hopefuls should fix their problems on macroeconomic levels. They shouldn't think that they can sue him against the country's political currents. The high number of candidates can create excitement ahead of the election, but it can also create confusion among voters. Principalists are better off picking just one candidate. Under the circumstances, it can be hard to predict if the words of these hopefuls and many others who were not mentioned in this report will connect to deeds in office. In other words, voters will have to wait to see whether the winner will follow through on his campaign promises when president. Raman Nodiri, Press TV, Tehran.